Hello guys, this is going to be a first impression overview of my new Nissan Qashqai. What we have gone for is the Envision version. As you can see, this is looking absolutely amazing. So on the front here, we have the main Nissan logo and uh, below the bonnet and then just below the Nissan, we have the front camera, which would be used for the 360 degree as well as the front parking camera views. And we have a nice bright and shiny headlights and along with other side lights, fog lights and everything else. So I'll, just below the headlights on front we have, I think uh, this would be the fog light or parking lights, I'm not entirely sure yet. And on top we have the front parking sensors. So the headlights and the whole light assembly looks very very neat very nice the front grille is black metal and this version by default comes with very nice diamond cut alloy wheels these are 18 inch wheels what I've gone for on top of the standard Envision version is the style pack which gives me this shiny back side of the side view mirrors as well as these beauties I think which which makes the car looks a little bit better than it already is this version also comes with keyless entry and exit I'll explain you just in a bit so the back looks quite nice as well as you might have already seen it's a specific Nissan Qashqai styled tail lights and parking lights and side lights and everything and we have the Nissan logo again and down below we have the parking sensors the rear parking sensors the rear screen wiper over here this is the petrol version and it has got the petrol tank on the right hand side so over here just below the side view mirrors we have the camera for the 360 degree views from side and the side view mirror which also has got the indicators inbuilt on the back just below the Nissan logo is the uh, fourth camera which would be used for the 360 degree view as well as the when you are reversing so for reverse parking view so on top we have satin silver roof rails and I'm not sure if it is visible but uh, on the top it looks black and when that's the case it is the um, panoramic sunroof I'll show you that from the inside in a bit on the front screen you can see there's a there's a bit of electronics visible and I have a feeling that those are for lane departure warning as well as the what's the other thing called the front uh, the functionality there it alerts you when somebody in front of you breaks or stops uh, quite uh, quite quickly I have a feeling that it, it's for that but I'm not entirely sure yeah, I'll hopefully find out soon this is the key fob it has got the key inside as well for emergency use but as such we shouldn't be needing that plus this as I mentioned this has keyless entry exit so we shouldn't have to take the key fob out of our pocket as well I'll just show you once so as we unlock it and then I can lock it but even without that if this is in my pocket then what we can do is we can come near the door and press this button it should lock or unlock it and then you should be able to get in as you can see 
the inside looks brilliant very very nice uh, what we have done is we have gone for the Envision um, trim and that comes by default with part leather and this nice very nice uh, fabric which is quite different from the basic Qashqai version if you go for so if, if the only the only way you can compare these two is if you if you sit and feel the seats on both the Envision as well as the uh, normal N connector version and only then you can see the difference but this this is this is what you get with Envision and plus with Envision another thing that you get is the dark headlining and what it means is all, all these fabric on the top as well as on the side they are all dark uh, compared to the light cream on hand connector so when you enter the car the first thing you notice is amazing sunroof this is called panoramic sunroof which is quite big substantially big and um, the glass does not come off which is good because we don't want that to come off and uh, feel all the wind and the noise so this this is excellent this is specifically the reason why we've gone for this the dash looks very very nice as well uh, there are all standard air conditioning vents the speakers um, very nice touch uh, This is the main entertainment system and the control system, the controls for your climate control, um, the parking parking handbrake is electronic one in this one, so you just pull and push. There are two connections for um, either, either you can use it for cigarette lighters or in most cases these days you'll be using these for your sat nav or charging your phone there is one over here and there is another one over here along with your main uh, auxiliary connection as well as your usb port using which you can connect your ipod or your other any other music systems and another charger potentially for for your phone so this is another standard feature that envision comes with is the heated front seat so both the front seats are heated and these are the controls for for that the one for passenger seat and one for driver seat this is the 1.6 version petrol version and uh, that comes with six speed gears and the reverse is done this way and then this way and so I mean I was like I'm coming from a Ford Mondeo where it was just five speed and where this is the sixth speed that's where the reverse was so I, I'll need I'll need a bit of time to get used to this but hopefully that shouldn't be too big, too big an issue the inside um, door handles and unlocking and locking mechanism looks very very nice very beautiful on passenger side you have the center locking and unlocking as well as the control for your uh, uh, windows as well I'll just show you the driver side controls in a bit so this is how the driver side um, door looks the door handle and these are the controls to set your side view mirrors uh, the left one or the right one and here we have the buttons to uh, control the center locking and the four buttons to control the windows of all four doors and a button to override the individual door window controllers so that nobody else can operate them the steering wheel looks great um, on the left hand side we have all the controls for controlling the audio music system to control the volume next track previous track as well as the buttons that will control the main um, dashboard 
system as well so the back button and the selection button as well as the enter button and on the right hand side we have everything to control your uh, cruise control uh, so to set or increase the speed decrease the speed set or cancel the cruise control as well as a couple of buttons to receive and hang up your phone calls if you have your uh, if you have a phone connected via bluetooth to the audio system so on the right hand side stick we have the controls for the wipers the front and back and all 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 the options using which you can change the speed and then do a lot of things and on the left stick we have the controls to controls for your um, headlight if you want to keep it on auto or on manual options and plus the side indicators left and right and just behind that we have the main star stop button right hand side just below the air vent we have a couple of buttons to control the or reset the trip to switch on or off uh, the lane departure warning to change the angle of the front headlight to switch the auto circulation on or off and to switch the traction control on or off to switch the car on what you have to do is to um, press the clutch button all the way and then press the start key and that also takes out the side view mirrors which is amazing. I'll just show you once that because I think it's quite nice. So once you switch them off, switch the car off, the mirrors usually come back in automatically. If you want to, if you don't like that, then you can switch that functionality off as well using this particular button. This time I'll start the car and okay this is the main system which is called I think something like Nissan Connect. I'll not spend too much time on it because there is there are lots of videos available for this one. It basically has everything that you would ask for. It has got the radio wherein you have DAB, FM, AM, everything. Uh, you can search and store your favorite stations I'll just load the music down uh, you have your main CD which is over here which would work for your normal CD audio CD as well as mp3s you have auxiliary options which would work with your phone's music if you have a phone connected via Bluetooth or uh, anything that you have put uh, in uh, connect via auxiliary cable like iPod and um, other music players uh, you have the camera button which would give you the 360 degree view as well as your front or rear camera depending upon in which gear you are so if you are going in the front using first gear or second gear then it would show you the front camera if you are in reversing using reverse gear then it would switch to the reverse camera so this is the front this is the reverse camera and it has got all the guidelines to guide you where you are going to end up in terms of parking and plus obviously the 360 degree camera would show you where exactly your car is compared to anything that is placed on left or right or front or back of your car and then you have on the right side you have the map button which would launch the set nav uh, inbuilt set nav i don't know how good or bad it is but i'll soon figure out i'm i'm usually quite used to use the google maps or navigations but i'll give this one a go and see how good it is uh, there are other setups um, sorry, uh, the information button has got uh, a few nice touches. There are some apps that you can install um, 
usual stuff like Facebook for your social media. There are traffic messages that you can view uh, around your area. And there is something called EcoScore which tells you how good or bad you are driving. And plus the setup, the usual... Uh, this is to manually place it on a night mode and the auto brightness and there are other some some other setup settings that you can do the left hand side you have main volume button and to switch on or off the system on right hand side you have uh, a button using which you can control everything for example for phone you can oh, i don't have my phone right now but once you're you have your phone connected which i have you can control your address book and everything from here and select the contact that you want to call as well so that's that's quite nice um, below it's um, the usual all the controls for your climate control where all you want the air coming to it has got the dual climate control so you can have different temperature setting on the right side uh, and different temperature, temperature setting for the left side which is which is quite handy if the passenger and the driver has different preferences but you can keep everything same as well so that's quite nice and i think that's about it's a parking brake to disengage you have to press the main brake and press it and that will disengage the parking brake and if you pull it then it will engage it so which is quite good and I think that's about it on the main Nissan Connect system and if you come here which is your another display then what you can do is you can switch the display over here which would by, by default it would display your speed and your lane departure warnings your speed limits in the area where you are driving um, it also displays the gear suggestion so if you're in wrong gear it would suggest you to move up or down your normal um, how many kilometers or miles you have driven as well as miles left to the petrol pump and you can change display to display settings you can change it to display any particular warnings that you have uh, tire pressure and driving aids, uh, the DAB that is entertainment system, traffic signs which will also display your set nav so you once you have set your navigation you can choose to display your entertainment or your phone on the main system and your set nav directions over here which comes in quite handy as well so uh, this is this is the set nav sorry and then fuel economy and then back to the main display so quite a lot of things you can do over here i'm sure i'll get a bit of i'll take a bit of time to get used to that one and another feature of envision is that for the driver it comes with electronic seat adjustment so with these two buttons you can do a lot of very very fine adjustments so this takes front or back down or up then with this you can adjust the back support uh, again back or front or yeah that's that's it so you can uh, it cannot memorize the setting but uh, if you are a single driver then I think that's not a problem it's quite handy on the front we have the pull out button to open the dashboard and the one to open the fuel cap nice and comfy back seats for the kids we have I think we have some pull out from here which they can use or not in the same quality of part leather and the seats to keep their stuff in and we also have the lights on back for both left and right side which is quite nice as well bit of space on the back to keep things magazines or a box of tissues 
is a view from the back seat and again I can't resist but to show the panoramic sunroof I think this would come in very very handy on nice bright clear days as well as even if it is raining I think it would should be quite nice to view the raindrops falling on top of your head but not get wet and here here we have the button to turn on or off the sunroof individual buttons for the lights as well as to turn something else off probably the lane departure warning or something else I'm not entirely sure and the rear view mirror has got by default the option to what was it what he yeah to to automatically dim the uh, the mirror uh, in uh, uh, at night when uh, people from the from the back are flashing their uh, high beams so that's that's automatic so that's quite good as well let's just open the boot so you have a nice little button over there to open it um, not as spacious as my old Mondeo but then not many cars are um, it's quite spacious there are the good thing is there are different places to put different things and different compartments so you can you have some additional space over here and then uh, What it also has is they give the space and the free uh, unit to put air in the tires so that you don't have to visit the petrol station just to just for the air um, something that you can use in emergency and uh, glue in case of puncture this is actually a space for the spare wheel if you have gone for that uh, optional accessory but we have not gone for that one that's the boot and we have a place that you can put your hand to close it down so that's about it guys very happy with purchase and yesterday's short drive was very nice as well and hopefully we can go on a on a long drive today as well but that's that's it that's our nice bright red shiny new Qashqai and Vision thanks for watching